。喂，干嘛？分离选秀已经开始了呢，已经到第三轮了，你的德拉库斯还没人选，赶快起来选秀了。It's draft day, and I overslept again. There's too many stats. I panic and I made random picks, and it was a disaster. Fantasy baseball is a game that we add our player stat and compare with our opponents. As you can see, I'm now at four against fourteen. I'm not having the best team due to overslept. There are twenty categories to consider in my league. Without a clear mind, it was just a terrible draft. So I use PCA principal component analysis to help me compress those categories into one single score. Initially, at least in my league, we have to focus on twenty different categories, which is really complicated and overwhelming during the live draft. After using PCA, each player gets a single score, which means we don't really have to track twenty different stats, just one number to make smart picks. Then I developed four strategies. S one always chase the best PCA player. S two similar to S one, but also take position numbers as NKPI. S three focuses on picking players who might have a specifically outstanding stat. That helps the team to outperform others in those categories every week. But for a simpler experiment, I only focuses on home run for batters and strikeouts for pitchers this time. As for pick stars who are way better than other players who are also in the same position, so other teams' certain position will be weaker. Lastly, random is the baseline comparison to others. After a hundred simulations, I ran regression and found that S one, S two, and S four significantly performed better than random picks. S three wasn't, but it's not surprising, as it had a rigid fixed role. So for RL reinforcement learning, I only use S one, S two, and S four. So how does reinforcement learning work in my draft simulator? The environment is the draft, where ten teams take turns picking players in twenty three rounds under the snake order. The state is what is my team stats, what are the other team stats, what's the state for available players, and what round is it right now, and what's my draft order. The agent learns from experience. It tries different strategies in different scenarios, and it updates its model to get better at winning. It can choose one of the three proven strategies: S one, S two, or S four, based on the current situation. For the reward, the instant reward is the change of winning percentage per round. And the final reward is winning percentage plus a ranking bonus, which is the better rank you are, the better bonus you get. I then train the reinforcement learning with five hundred simulations and run a hundred additional simulations to run regression, and test if reinforcement learning really brings a better performance. And the results show that the reinforcement learning improved significantly, about seven percent. And yet, it's still not the best. The S four strategy still performs better. And that's not surprising at all, because RL was limited to choose from only three strategies. So for the future, I plan to let it explore more actions. The future steps include one: redesigning S three using reinforcement learning, so the RL knows what categories to chase under the situation. Second, we want to incorporate more strategy styles, so the RL can have different strategies facing more kinds of players. We also want to have some explanations, let the players know why the RL recommend this player. And four, we want to try to interact in a real time draft to test if RL can really put into practice. Lastly, we want to evaluate the team's potential performance after every draft. With the help of the reinforcement learning model, I no longer need to worry about those categories. I can finally draft with my friends with ease without being bothered by the time difference. Draft fast, win last.